Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome back to our coverage of the EPT Season 13 stop in Barcelona. I am with Jason Kuhn. Now, Jason, this summer during the WSOP, you got close to a bracelet a few times. You've actually been close to tons of titles many, many times and then followed it up by winning a 25K at the Bellagio and then the Sherpo main event. First of all, huge congratulations. Thanks. Two huge events and it's, you know, I think it's, it's your time. So just tell me a little bit about what's going on. Uh, yeah, running well. Um, kind of the same story overall, though. Uh, just trying to stay focused and uh, live a balanced life. It's like the highs are just like the lows. It's really easy to get caught up in them. And next thing you know, you're walking around the casino thinking you're just like playing way better than you've ever played before. It's, it's the same trap. Like when you're running bad, you're just always looking into like, oh, am I just playing awful? And maybe you are sometimes, but overall it's like variance just plays like a huge role in the way that you approach like tournaments in general and i think that that's a big mistake if you want to stick around and keep your sanity of course results oriented thinking is always something that i think players struggle with and i saw on your twitter that you i want to say it was from ben greenfield um maybe that's the wrong name but basically he said oh my boy i've been coaching him and he just won a million dollars and you said yeah he's been really influential in my game so yeah. tell me a little bit about what that relationship is uh, yeah well, mainly uh my friend david benefield got me into they kind of have similar names ben greenfield, i was just david thinking benefield that. and where has uh, he been i haven't seen him in forever uh, he's just you know being being the boss that he is but um yeah, he got me into listening to Ben's podcast, and I was just blown away at how smart this guy was and how adaptive he was. So I read a few of his books and uh, just got in touch with him. It's pretty neat how accessible people like that are. And um, yeah, just trying to apply a lot of good science to getting the most out of my brain. Lord knows I need it. There's tons of geniuses around here, so any edge that you can get is a big one. Uh, so yeah, he's just been a huge deal in mine and my girlfriend's life. Like we just, our diet's completely based off of the science that he's behind, and and I think that it's the best that that you can get. Well, I was gonna ask you also because I I personally tend to see a correlation between when poker players find sort of a happy relationship life, also that it tends to like bleed over into other avenues of their life. Do you think finding a, a good partner has also sort of, you know, put a little cherry on top for you? It's enormous, yeah, it's enormous. Just takes the pressure off of things. Uh, it's easy to just get wrapped up in one thing. So it's, it's really great when you find something that's more important to you than your career. And then uh, you just don't feel as much pressure. So it's, it's, it's nice to have uh, support and uh, she does a great job of putting up with me whenever I'm being really grumpy or depressed or complaining. Um, yeah, it's, it's been fantastic and it's definitely been one of the uh, greatest things that happened to me in general and for my poker career. Take the pressure off and then the money just starts rolling in. Look at that. Yeah. Well, again, a huge congratulations. Thanks. I'm really happy to see you on top. And also, someone mentioned that now that you have that monkey off your back, maybe you won't be as strong as you always have been because you've been carrying around a giant monkey yeah. forever. <laughs> Don't think it. He's still going to be buff no, forever. I'm in there, man. <laughs> I'm in there. Well, you guys can watch him, of course, right now on the feature table on PokerStars.tv.